I gotta say guys, I couldn't be any more of a cliche today. I'm going into Whole Foods and I was blasting Jason Mraz on my way in. <laughs> <laughs> So just in case you guys wanted to know how to pick the best pineapple, you gotta smell it <laughs> at the bottom. The sweeter it smells, the better it is. Yep. These were the sweetest out of the bunch. Yep. Avocados. Making a chicken cacciatore. This is our beef of choice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Never tried this, but I'm tempted, guys. Yeah, you're great thing. Yeah. Best taco shells, guys. This is the best bread, guys. This makes the best French toast. Seriously. Also need bread for our cacciatore. The cheese is super fragrant over here. Yeah. This is a favorite, guys. The crab and lobster ravioli. So good. Usually I organize the cart a lot better than this. I am very meticulous about that type of stuff. Even our fridge is like super organized. Um, but I was kind of in a rush. Just wanted to show you guys a few things. I love Whole Foods because it reminds me of home. That is the damage, not too bad. Hey guys, so now we are actually back home and I am about to make us dinner. It's going to be the chicken cacciatore. Um, it actually translates into hunter in Italian. So this is kind of like a wild game meal. It's traditionally made with rabbit meat. Um, I am not a hunter, so I don't have any fresh rabbit on hand. So we are doing it with chicken thighs or you can get a whole chicken and quarter it and also use it as well. But I'm gonna show you guys a very quick recipe. It's very easy and very delicious. So you may have noticed that this chicken or these chicken thighs actually have a little bit more fat on them. So you wanna keep some fat, but you don't wanna to have too much fat. Um, so you can always trim the excess. For the tomatoes, we are going to wash and quarter them. Also guys, I forgot to mention, we already have peppers, which is why you didn't see me pick this up in Whole Foods today, much along with like the red pepper flakes, ground black pepper and the salt. 
uh, marinara and Italian olive oil. These ingredients I've already had. So I was really just picking up a few things to add to what we already had at home. But you're gonna need, <laughs> you're gonna need a green pepper for this recipe, okay? So here are the chicken thighs now. They are washed off. Uh, I washed them in cold water. And then you just add black pepper and salt to them. So I use one jar of sauce. Believe me, it's going to be enough. It may not look like it, but it will once you add the tomatoes. And the liquid from the tomatoes will cook out and it'll add to the level of liquid in the cacciatore. So here for the seasoning, we have the red pepper flakes, black pepper, and salt. Um, you can use fresh basil if you have it. I have not started my basil plant yet this season. Um, I do intend on doing that, but not yet. So this is how it looks once you add everything in and you're going to put this on a low to medium heat and it's going to stew or cook for about two hours. Also guys, I would say when you're cooking this to just use a little common sense. Obviously, you are going to have to stir this every so often, okay?